Fox 17 consumer warning tonight about a scam taking unsuspecting victims for millions of dollars. Now, the offers, they come in through the mail and they primarily target seniors. They promise big prizes, but the only thing they actually deliver are big losses for the victims. This, for example, would be uh, maybe a day's worth of mail, maybe two days. One day I counted that she received 85 pieces of mail. All scams, letters supposedly from Reader's Digest and the IRS, offers of cheap jewelry as bait, all of the letters promising big prizes, including new cars. Nud's mother, Betty, fell for all of them and wired away her retirement savings. We believe that she lost somewhere north of $200,000, her life savings, and they left her with nothing but debt. Seniors in this country are under attack basically from fraudsters who are operating lottery fraud schemes from outside of the country. Sherry Nudd's mom is one of millions of victims of lottery scams. You know, these criminals have no conscience. They're insidious, they're evil, and they target elderly people because they know they are vulnerable. U.S. Postal Inspector's Office has a cache of online resources to help families protect elderly relatives. Postal inspectors are urging families to get involved as soon as possible. Uh, the sooner you get involved, the sooner it can be stopped. And unfortunately, these fraudsters are so ruthless and relentless that they won't stop until they've taken your senior relative's last dollar. You will be involved at some point. The question is, do you want to be involved when there's something to preserve so that you can take care of your parent, or do you want to only be involved after everything is gone? For some tools to help you spot scams before it's too late, you can check out the Postal Inspection Service new website that is DeliveringTrust.com. Tonight, Gallatin Police warning residents to be extra careful about letters they get in the mail these days. Investigators say someone is sending correspondence claiming to have money that they need to send to you. The alleged crook includes a phone number or an email in some cases, and they ask you to send money to cover the transfer costs. Well, of course, the victim never sees any cash, and the person behind the scheme disappears with that transfer money.